Hey guys, and welcome to a guide for all the hidden stashes, or caches, or caches, or however you want to call them, who are going to be on woods. So, we're currently by Scav House, that's just down there. you got the extract just over here, and you got this big rock that people like to snipe on. If you head directly for the mound right next to the edge of the map, this is where the first cache is. Over on the water side you have got a kind of a large bush next to a small tree and just at this bush is one of the caches. Okay so Scav Hut is here, the water is just along down there and then the road is up here. You got this kind of clearing um, if you're heading from Scav Hut towards the lumber yard you can see this tree that's kind of knocked over here. On the opposite side of the street, there is another one that's knocked over just there. And you've got this big bush here. And the stash is just here. Okay, so we're just up from checkpoint. That's checkpoint down here. This road leads straight to the lumber yard, which is just up here. And there is a truck that's here kind of like crashed into a pile of logs. If you stand next to this truck, and head directly inland, just the same side as where Sniper Rock is, you'll see a tree that's fallen over. At this tree here to the left, you have a tree that's like directly next to it, and th this one isn't a hidden cache, this is a barrel, and here it is right here. Okay, so we're up by where the plane crash is. This is the back of the plane. <clears throat> up here on the left hand side, just past the engine, you actually have the wing of the plane with the little tip coming up. If you run directly following where this plane wing is pointing, you can see the cache just here. Okay, so this one's going to be a bit more harder to point out. But over there you have got the train station, the one that's right next to the extract for a scav or as a spawn. If you're going to head following so the outer walls on your right hand side, you're going to get to this rock. And you're going to see a large rock with birch trees next to it. At this large rock with birch trees, just after this little lower kind of rock on the right hand side, there is a cache right here. Okay, so once again, this one might be a bit hard to point out. You have got the uh, train station just here. We are actually running parallel to the tracks right now, which is just down here. You will see this giant ditch over here. There is a crashed tank, or, well, I wouldn't say crash, just not in use, I guess. Tank that's kind of leaning against a tree right here. If you go right directly down, you'll see this rock right here and this is the cache it's right in the very bottom of the pit okay so this final one is in between both of the extracts you got the one that has the green smoke and then you got the PMC extract which is always up you have the train station over in this direction where the train tracks are going up connecting to where the factory is going to be and you have a yellow digger on the road if you head inland, basically the direction is the yellow diggers going, you can see a power substation here on the right hand side. And there's a bush next to this power substation and the cache is just here. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. Hopefully that over time there should hopefully be more found in woods. I only have in seven hidden caches, caches, stashes, whatever. Um, seems to be quite low for me, but you yeah, know, on customs it's weird that there was none on the storage side either. But you yeah, know, we just guess we just got to see what happens over time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, they bring you a little bit of extra cash. And guys, I will see you in the next video.